Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a new series of videos on my channel. So this is going to be called Ads Invest and I'm going to basically be documenting with you the things uh, that I'm buying, whether it be as, as here, Lego sets, whether it's cryptocurrency or anything like that. I'm going to be documenting my investing journey with you guys on this channel. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer first off. I am no financial advisor. By no means you should, you know, by no means you shouldn't just like buy what I'm buying because I'm invested in it or anything like that. I make mistakes. Some of these sets might be winners. Some of these Lego sets I'm going to show you might be losers. Uh, and some of the investments I'm making in other areas as well will be winners and losers. So just do your own research, do your own due diligence, and don't just like jump into something straight away head first. Now I know a lot of the people who watch my channel are intelligent people, they're not gonna do that anyway, but it's always worth me stating that at the start of the video. So yeah, what is this video gonna be about? Well this video is gonna be, as I've mentioned, a Lego investing haul. So I thought this was the best way uh, the best investing video I could come at you with first because it's very relatable to the main sort of focus of my channel which is reselling so it's quite a, an easy transition into this series of videos. My next video will be on cryptocurrency so that's Bitcoin, the blockchain, all the other cryptocurrencies, all that sort of stuff. And I'll be sort of alternating between different things in my investing videos. I'll obviously be doing more Lego hauls in the future and stuff like that. So, yeah, anyway, now that's out of the way. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all the sets. I'll tell you a little bit about why I've bought them. Um, and also, I'll sort of try and explain a few tips as well that I've learned with Lego investing over the short time I've been doing it. I mean, I've only been doing it for about a month, two months now, but I've been researching, watching videos and stuff like that for quite a few months, like about five or six months now, because I really wanted to get into it, but um, it's only now that I thought, right, I'm going to take the plunge and I'm going to allocate some funds towards doing this. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to make you aware of that as well. So, without further ado, I will get on, the on with the haul. So, it's right here in front of me, so I'll, I'll uh, start with this one. This is the, ye uh, the, the Lego The Beatles Yellow Submarine, that's what I'm trying to say. Set 21306. I got this off eBay for £35.50. It's brand new and sealed, which it is currently still on Lego Shop at home. It's still available. It's at £54.99 retail price. So, I believe I got that at about 36% off. I did do a quick calculation on my phone before this video. I think it was about 36% uh, off. So I was quite happy with that. Now, uh, first tip I'm going to give you is try and get Lego where you can at a discount. Or if you don't get it at a discount, if you're shopping on a Lego shop at home, try and shop when there's like double VIP points or there's a free gift involved or something like that. So that then you're always getting uh, at least something for your, your money, basically. And also... Basically, get Lego sets when they're about to retire. So, this one here, I think this is going to retire pretty soon. Most of the other ideas, this is an ideas Lego set. Um, most of the other ideas Lego sets have only had a shelf life of around a year. And this one is coming up on a year. So, I do think this is going to retire soon. So, always buy, buy your Lego at sort of the end of its life so that then you don't have to wait as long for it to go up in value because when lego retires a set the set automatically isn't available on lego obviously and therefore secondary markets like amazon and ebay they have to pick up the slack it where where obviously a lot of customers have gone to lego for the item well now that item's not available all those customers shift to the secondary market like ebay and amazon so they have to pick up the slack and that usually means a price increase. Now, that doesn't happen, like, instantly. Sometimes it might. I mean, I've seen it, like, a little bit of a price increase um, very, very quickly. But usually, over the course of a few years, that set will go up in value. And, you know, you see a lot of articles like Legos and Better Investment in Gold and stuff like that. It is, but only if you get the right sets. And it's hard to get the right sets sometimes. You know, it's hard to make a judgment and say yes that is going to be really good i'm going to get that you know some sets you can you know instantly yeah that's going to be good and it might be good but other sets are hard to judge or other sets you might think are going to be really good and aren't that great so i mean i wish i had invested in i remember 
going into Sainsbury's, into my local Sainsbury's, and there was tons of the Scooby-Doo sets in there. And I wish right now I invested in those Scooby-Doo sets, because even after like a year and a half of being retired, they have done really, really well. And really a year and a half after retirement isn't that long, um, especially in the Lego investing world. I mean, some people will keep their sets as investments for five or ten years before they decide to sell. So, yeah, it's not really that long and they've gone up really well. You know, they've gone up a decent amount in value. I think the uh, Lego Mystery Machine on Amazon is over double its retail price. I mean, it's about almost triple, I believe, its retail price. So that is a really decent investment. Um, but yeah, on the whole, anyway, so I got that one off eBay for £35.50. Really happy with that. Another tip as well, very quickly before I get on with the haul, is keep your Lego boxes in really, really nice shape. Don't, you know, don't buy Lego boxes off the shelf in a supermarket or whatever that's re that are really crushed or that have shelf wear, stuff like that, because you're not going to be able to get as much for them so yeah keep your lego boxes in decent condition so i'm just going to put that one there i've got another couple to show you of these ones i got these from john lewis for 20 percent off i believe it was 44 pounds so i got that one there and I got, as i say i got two of them i think it was i don't know whether it was over 50 pound to get free shipping or over 30 pound but i decided to get two anyway so yeah I'm going to try and get five of those in total before we retire, and we'll see how we do. You know, I, I wouldn't want more than about 180 one, uh, or £200 in those sets specifically, because you like, I like to diversify a bit. But, um, yeah, we're just going to see how those, those do in a year or so, and obviously at that point, hopefully I'll still be making these sorts of videos, or even if I'm not... I'll try and get back to you on what they've done, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, really, really cool. Um, so that's those. I got off eBay. Now, this is a retired set. Oh, wrong way around. This Lego Doctor Who, obviously, I've already got this set. I've built it. You know, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know how much I love Doctor Who. Um, so, yeah, I, this is brand new and sealed, you know, really good condition as well the box so i'm happy with that um i got this for less than retail price on ebay now as i just mentioned this set is retired it's been retired for i believe 11 months it was december 2016 this set retired so this on amazon currently is at 80 pounds now we are in november currently so I think that might just shoot up a little bit towards Christmas. We might get close to that £100. I'm not sure, really. I'll have to see how it does. I'll have to track it on Amazon and just see how it does. But um, to get, I got this for £48.50 off eBay. I was really, really happy um, because, obviously, I'm, I, I, you know, I, I could sell this and I would make, yeah, okay, a little bit of money. Not the best amount of money, but a little bit of money even now. Now, I'm going to keep this set for a couple of years, so whatever it does in the next couple of years it is great. I mean, hopefully we can get over that £100, we can maybe get 120 130 something like that, but I'm really not sure, it's just speculation. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to get that for less than retail, considering it's already been retired for, you know, 11 months. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Um, I don't know what I said, but I got it for £48.50, so £1.50 less than retail, but I was really happy just to get that for less than retail, really. Um, so this one, I got this one off Amazon. I believe it was on a 27, 26, 27% discount. Now, I saw on Lego Shop at Home that one of these Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, sets was March is retiring soon. Well, these sets haven't been out for that long. I'm pretty sure they've not been out for, you know, they've not been out for a year anyway. So, um... Uh, you know, a lot of sets have a shelf life of like one to two years, something like that. So when a set gets marked as retiring soon on Lego Shop at Home and it's only been out for a few months, it's always a good sign because you then think to yourself, well, you know, not as many people might have been able to get this set when it was around because it had a shorter shelf life. So therefore it might go up in value quicker um, or it might be more desirable on the secondary market. So yeah, I I saw one of these sets from the Wave was retiring soon on a Lego shop at home. So I thought, well, I'll I'll go on Amazon and I'll check the discounts. And I think this at the time was the best discount. And I thought, well, I'll just buy one of them at the discount and we'll see how it does. I mean, I'm quite um, 
you know, I'm quite, oh, what's the word? I forgot the word now. Um, I'm quite excited, that's it. I'm quite excited to see how this one's going to do. Um, but we'll, we'll see anyway. I'm just going to, I'm also going to have a look on Lego Shop at Home and actually track this uh, line, you know, this Guardians of the Galaxy 2 line to see actually when it does retire. Um, but yeah, as I said, but one of those sets was worth uh, was marked as retiring soon on Lego Shell at home, so it'll be interesting anyway with that one. Um, right then, so one set, well not one set, but one line of sets that have done incredibly, incredibly well uh, in the secondary market. I know this because this is the second or third wave now of Speed Champions. The first wave which I believe retired in late 2015. I might be quite. I might be a little bit wrong on that. It might be early 2016, but it was around that time. And uh, the LaFerrari, which is just you know one of these sets, one of these little smaller car sets from the line, but just a Ferrari. Um, that retailed at the same price as this, which is 13 pound or 12.99. Um, and within about 11 months of retirement. It is now currently sitting at, on Amazon, I believe, at £35. So within a year, it has almost tripled in value. So this, now that is the first wave of Speed Champions. Generally, a lot of first wave Lego sets, like um, I'll just give you a few examples, like the first wave of Star Wars Micro Fighters. I don't know about the first wave of Mighty Micros, uh, the superhero sets. Don't know how they've done. They might not have done as well. Um, but things like... Things with only one wave in terms of sets like Scooby-Doo, Jurassic World, that sort of stuff like I mentioned a minute ago. All those kind of first wave things uh, do quite well. You know, not necessarily all themes. I mean, if it was, uh, you know, it's got to be a theme that people like, uh, you know, from the get-go, really. But a lot of themes do quite well, the first wave. Um, so, I mean, I'm trying to think of a few others that I could uh, just quickly reel off, but I can't, can't think at the moment. But... Yeah, I, I think that these speed champions, they're not, they might not do, they might not go up in value as fast as the first wave, like the LaFerrari and things like that. But I do think they're certainly still worth investing in. Now, I thought this one, I looked on Lego Shop at Home and I'm pretty sure it said this one was retired. But then I went back on Lego Shop at Home after I had bought these and they're not retired, these sets. So I don't know, maybe I got, um, I obviously looked at the wrong set or something like that on Lego Shop at Home. I got a bit panicky because I thought, oh my god, these are retired, I bet, better try and get hold of these. Um, but yeah, they're, they're not retired. I don't know whether it's... Where's the set now? Where does it say the... I'm trying to look for the um, the year it was produced. I can't see it on it. Oh, 2016. So, it's 2016 set. This isn't probably going to be out, about, be out for that much longer. But obviously, I'm going to have to wait now until it retires. I paid retail for it. As I say, I would have liked to get it on a discount, but because I got panicky, because I thought it was retired, I ended up buying it anyway, but I got, I think I got three of these. Um, so, I mean, even at 13 quid, I'm still happy there, because as I say, I'm a long-term investor, so, you know, within, uh, within the next two, three years, these are going to be a sound investment anyway, and it is a great theme, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm still happy with buying them, but obviously in the future I'm going to look to get those on a discount. So I've got three of those. Again, uh, all the boxes seem to be in good condition there, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, the next lot of stuff is Brickheads. Now, Brickheads is in its first wave, I believe. I think this is the first wave LEGO has produced other than the, I believe it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So, um... Obviously, I've been I've been debating. I was debating with myself. I wonder whether these brickheads are worth it in terms of an investment. And I was thinking to myself, well, it's a first wave of something. I don't quite know how popular they've been, but I do know that they were released. I believe it was in March of this year. And currently, all of the first wave on Lego Shop at Home are marked as retiring soon. So that means most probably these are going to retire in the next few months, maybe even sooner. Therefore, that would mean that there's a shelf life of less than a year. Now, that is a decent sign. So I thought to myself, well, I'll buy some. I'll invest a fair chunk of change into them and I will buy some. I will get the free gift from Lego, which is around there somewhere. Oh, no, it's over there somewhere. I got 
Um, basically, I did place two orders of Brickhead with Lego, and I got two of the Countdown calendars, which I'm going to send off to Amazon, maybe sell them for about 20 quid each. But that obviously recoups some of my investment in the Brickheads, and again, it's just another way of getting a little bit of money back, um, just like a discount or, you know, something like that, really. So, um, I did that. I placed two separate orders, so obviously I'd get the two gifts rather than the one gift. Um, but yeah, we're just going to see how these do, really. So I got one Batman, I don't know why I added one Batman to my car in one of the orders, because all the others I've got multiples of, uh, but this is the only one that I've actually got one of, I know the lighting isn't the best, but that is the Batman, I did try to choose ones that I think will, um, I think will appeal most to people in the secondary market, but you can never be too sure with that really, it's all speculation, um, I got two of the Hulks there, um, which I think, again, are going to be okay. I think, to me personally, I think it's going to be, I'm really quite um, drawn to this Captain America. I think he's going to do quite well. I don't know why. I mean, well, I do kind of know why. On Amazon, this is already selling for like £4 above retail. Amazon are now, I believe, on a lot of this first wave stuff, when I checked, they're out of stock. So that is another good sign that a set is retiring soon because Amazon will go out of stock. Obviously, Amazon could come back in stock today or tomorrow. So it's not a surefire sign, but it's it's another good sign that these are retiring soon. So this is already selling, last time I checked, for about four or five pounds above retail. So that's another reason that's making me think this one might do well. Also, I just quite like the shield. And if I like the shield, maybe other people will like the shield and it looks pretty cool. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I got two of those. Now, I would have thought I'd got more than that because, um, as I say, I'm quite, um, I quite like that one. So I think I, I should have got more than that. Um, I got Captain Jack. Um, kind of just bought him. I don't know why. I bought two of him. Um, I don't know why I bought him. I don't know. Maybe I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll add a couple of him to my cart. But yeah, that was that one. And then this... This guy, I bought this guy because he's quite different. He's a bit of a different character. He's a bit more of an obscure character. And sometimes, not necessarily in Lego investing, but in other walks of investing, obscure things can do quite well. So, you know, like, I mean, like, pop vinyls and stuff like that, the obscure ones go up in value. So, I don't know. I, would, I just thought, yeah, well, I'll have a stab at him. So I got two of him. Um, and then the, the one that I have kind of... Uh, bought the most of over a period of time. I got, I think I got four from Lego Shop at home and I got one from just uh, a local retailer. But I got these... Oh, wait, there's another one here. Oh, I got three of that guy. I didn't get two. got three of that guy. Um, so, yeah, I got three of him. And then I got four from Lego Shop at home of these Beast ones. I quite like these. I think these are going to do pretty well. Um... I don't know why, I just think that that is like one of the standout ones from the range, you know, I'd say him, I'd say like, I'd say for, for me personally, now this is just personal opinion, but for me, it's probably those three, or maybe those three, so the Hulk, uh, what is this guy, Captain Salzar, uh, which I believe is from Pirates of the Caribbean or something, and then the Beast, so maybe them three, or them three are like my standout ones, but that's just personal opinion, really. Um, so yeah, that's those. So I think the Beast is a standout one, so I did get more of him. Um, as I say, there's another one. Um, and then we've got three more down here. So I'll just put them there. One, two, three. So I've got five of them Beast. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited to see what they'll do. I'm not worried at all that they'll go below retail or anything like that. On Well, to be honest, on all of this stuff, I'm not worried about it going below retail. I do want to make that clear. The worry would be for me with investing in tangible items like this is uh, damage, is if there was, uh, you know, a flood or a fire or anything like that, obviously that's my investment gone. So that's the kind of worry with investing in tangible things like this. Um, but I'm not worried at all that any of these will go below retail or anything like that. I'm quite comfortable with my investments. Um, but, it, you know, it's exciting to see 
um, where these are going to go, what, how these are going to perform, what what's going to play out, all that sort of stuff. And that's the, the real excitement for me. For me. And uh, yeah, I will share with you another Lego haul another day. Uh, you know, when I, uh, wait, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to let things build up and then I'll show it you in one go again. So maybe every three to four weeks, something like that. Because I'm going to, I'll be buying a fair bit each month. I'm not going to say a figure, but because I, I really don't know how much money I'm going to be spending each month on it. It'll vary from month to month. But certainly there's going to be minimum I'm going to be spending is about £200 a month on Lego. So there's definitely going to be enough to warrant doing a haul video every two, three, four weeks. And then obviously in between, we'll do cryptocurrency videos and stuff like that on this uh, segment. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that guys. There will be more tips next time. There will be another video, uh, there will be a cryptocurrency video will be next on this segment. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be trying to give you good information, factual information that you can take away and that you can, you know, research further on and build a knowledge base on if you would like to invest in any of the things I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.